Okay, so here again we have another example uh, trying to solve one of the unknowns in the triangle, uh, which is simply uh, called solving a triangle. And remember to use the sine rule. We need an opposite sine rule. We need an opposite pair. Okay, if we don't have an opposite pair or if we can't find an opposite pair easily, then we will use the cosine rule. Okay, and here we can see we have an angle there and our question would simply be can we find its opposite side or do we have its opposite side and we do okay so we do have 5.1 is its opposite side so that I can use this together with other information uh, to go and calculate any other side so for example here I have that side length okay that's the only other piece of information I have so I can go and use this opposite pair to find this opposite pair. In other words, I can use sine, and I'm trying to ca calculate sine of B. I can, so that's why I have my angles at the top and my side lengths at the bottom. I'm trying to find the angles. That sine of A is equal to sine of B over B. Okay, so here we see sine of A is uh, we have that okay I'm trying to solve this so I'm just going to multiply both sides with a B even here before I even start substituting so that I have that sine of B will be given by B times which is the side length B that's 9.22 9.22 times sine of A a, we have uh, we were given that value 22.5 divided by and then the opposite side length here is is the a value that's 5.1 I think 5.1 so what do we get okay using our calculator we get the values 9.22 times 22.5 sine divided by 5.1 okay well that's an odd number 0 comma what what okay 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.9 etc is that really the angle B no no remember that's sine of B so in order to calculate B we have to use arc sine arc sine okay and here we take arc sine inverse sine and now uh, we get okay 43 I, I wrote this wrong there's a 6 missing here uh, 0 0.6918 okay it's not important it's the final answer that's important okay so 43.78 rounded off to 43.78 degrees and now it's so so simple to go and calculate side length C okay angle C I mean okay how do we do that well we take for angle C we take a hundred and eighty degrees then we subtract from it f uh, 43 point seven eight that's the angle of B and we also subtract the angle of A 22.5 so what do we get 180 minus 43.78 minus 22.5 and we get 11372 113.72 degrees that's the angle for C okay and then we can go and calculate ang side length C again using the rel opposite pair relationship and you'll notice here that I'm going to still keep using a and uh, sine of a and a here because that was the original information given. I want to stick to the original information as much as possible to avoid any mistakes. This time I'm trying to calculate a side length, so I'm going to say a over sine of a is equal, and we're working with c now, c over sine of C and I want to calculate C the side length C so I'm just going to multiply both sides with sine C like this to 
cancel it on the right hand side and then I'm left with my formula C is equal to sine of C which is sine of a hundred and thirteen point seven two degrees okay mm, times a the side length a side length a was five point one okay times five point one divided by sine of a sine angle a was twenty two point five twenty two point five and that would give me the answer immediately okay so a hundred and thirteen point seven two sine of that sine of that times five point one divided by twenty two point five sine of that okay is equal to twelve point two zero twelve point two so approximately equal to twelve comma two that's the length of c now one thing that I would like to show you here is that let's imagine we now have 12.2 I think 12.2 is that right 12.2 we have this side but we don't have the angle C so we do have the angle C I, I don't mean we don't we, we do have it but let's imagine we didn't we had 12.2 and we want to go and use this pair right here to go and calculate that pair right there so it's exactly the same same formula except we are swapping around now you might now ask me sorry we are using sine of C over C equal to sine of uh, A over uh, you might not ask me well, why are we doing this well you'll see in just a minute we're going to get a different answer for C okay and and that is going to be odd until we consider just why that happens. So I multiply both sides with a C and I get sine of C is equal to sine of A which is sine of 22,5 degrees divided by f A was 5.1 and C is the one we've just calculated in the previous one and we're assuming that was given and this one was needed to be calculated. So what do we get? we get 22.5 inverse sine well I'm um, sorry 22.5 not inverse sine just sine okay divided by 5.1 times 12.2 okay is equal to 1. Point, no I must have made a mistake let's try again 22.5 sine okay divided by 5.1 okay is equal to and times that by 12.2 there we go I did make a mistake and that gives me an answer of 0 0,9 what 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 915 etc okay so if I use inverse of sine now look what I get 66 degrees okay I get that angle C is equal to 66 is it 66.27.27 degrees but we know it's it's not that it's 113.72 okay so did I round off correctly okay 27 years then why are we getting this uh, two different answers for C well let's see is it possible to draw a, a, a triangle where I have that angle that opposite angle and uh, sorry opposite side and that side length where this angle here is not as big as as that but rather 66 well let's see okay so imagine uh, where am I now okay imagine these my there's my angle we say that is 22 comma 5 we know that this side length was 12.2 okay 
okay 12 12.2 now it's all about this angle right here okay so now I I want this opposite side length here to be what is it 12 uh, 5.1 5.1 here you can see the angle is bigger than uh, than 90 degrees bigger than 90 degrees but can you imagine this side length also being 5.1 but in this direction see there's another 5.1 and then this one is longer okay this one is longer this is still 5.1 5.1 that's longer but now this angle the one that is opposite that 12 is now less than 90 degrees so there it's more than 90 degrees here it's less than 90 degrees so if we consider this this value that we get here that would be the value we get for this triangle the blue one here for that blue triangle we would get this answer and for this pink triangle here if I considered this triangle I will also get exactly the same value and and what has changed actually well this side length has not been considered in this calculation that's the side length this is a uh, C and B that side length B was not taken into consideration okay so what we would do is we would look at our sketch and see but wait this doesn't make sense to be 66 degrees that is definitely bigger than 90 degrees so remember in this case here we would definitely have to take into consider that this is just going to be a reference angle okay and now if I can see that the angle I'm referring to is less than 90 degrees like in 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 this case here then I would know um, then then my reference angle is the actual angle I'm working with if I can see oh wait no like in this sketch here and we can see no that is more than 90 degrees then you remember that for sine one of my solutions would be the reference angle plus 108 uh, 360 360 times K and the other solution would be that C is equal to 180 degrees minus my reference angle 66.26 plus 360 times K now we don't need this part because we're not working with triangles in the uh, Cartesian plane we're just working with nine normal triangles and in normal triangles there you will never have an angle that's bigger than 180 degrees okay so we don't have to add 300 or subtract 360 because we won't have negative angles either okay but but if if I look at this equation this will solve to something less than 180 degrees okay uh, and how does it do that well let's subtract this and you will get 113 comma 73 degrees here we had it as a hundred and thirteen point seventy two and if I subtract it from 180 I get uh, I'm sorry about this I get a hundred and thirteen point seventy three okay so it's just a rounding small rounding uh, difference that we have here but uh, that I wanted to put uh, draw your attention to that when we have that one of our tr angles in our triangle is greater than 90 degrees okay uh, an obtuse angle so one of our angles is obtuse then using the sign rule comes with a little bit of a warning okay keep that in mind you can see I did not need to consider that if I first did the the acute angles then the obtuse angle is just found by taking 180 minus the other angles so that's probably a good principle is to first calculate all the acute angles and leave the obtuse angle for last and calculate it simply by taking 180 minus the other two angles well that's me for now this was a long video I apologize for it but I hope you can see the value in what I showed you near the end thank you very much for watching see you in the next couple of videos looking at some more complicated examples of application of 2 and 3d 2 and 3d um, trigonometric problems cool see you there